Hey people, the Husqvarna 450 finally bit the dust. I had it in the shop and the guys looked at the piston and the cylinder and it was, they said it's basically because of the um, ethanol in the gas that just kills engines. And I must have had the thing for the, like this would be the fifth season because I know I had it in 2010 when the garage burned because there was a bunch of cut wood in there and I think it's wood that I cut myself. So. And again, the saw would have been in there, so I don't know why the saw didn't burn. But anyway, it's dead, so I got a new one. I was looking on, on YouTube, of course, for electric chainsaws, and some of the reviews look pretty damn good. And then I was looking on Amazon for, for the sales, and I saw this one here for $79. Made in China, naturally, 15 amp. You're going to see it. I mean, I haven't cut wood like decent wood in years. The Husqvarna has been on its way out for a long time. So I have this 30 amp, this 30 amp plug for the coach. This was for the trailer that I can have it plugged in at home and get the refrigerator running and use the air conditioner if I want. So I just put an adapter in there and an extension cord about 9 foot a nine foot appliance cord. One of the big concerns of course with using electric <coughs> is you can't carry it into the woods. So fortunately this big black thing 40 feet doesn't count as an extension big cord because of the way it's constructed out of really, you know, a home grade electric cable. It's, it's, it's set to go the way it is. So I'm only using a nine foot extension cord. So that's one major consideration. Also, the instructions aren't worth a crap. So they don't tell you. They tell you make sure you put oil in it, but it's an automatic oil, or I can figure that out because I used it yesterday to cut some. And um, but it doesn't say that it shuts off if the oil runs out. So that's something I'm going to have to watch on purpose. You know, it is an 18-inch bar. It says it do 17-inch cut. And then if you have to do something bigger, you do it from both sides. And of course, it's, you know, not meant to be professional grade, but I got about four, four cords left on this pile, and hopefully it'll get me through that. Um, one of the other nice things about it is that you don't have to use ear, ear protection. Relatively quiet, which is nice. Yesterday it took me forever. The chain snapped off when I tried to go up with the grain for a knot, twisted up gnarly piece of crap that I couldn't split, and that knocked the chain off. But aside from that, it's cut all these ends. You can see here a clean cut. And um, this one here is a pretty good size. This is a 16 inch board, so that's about 14 inches. <laughs> 14 inches. It went through that. What I gotta do, I don't wanna move you yet, but what I wanna do is get the end cut off this pile so that I have room to walk between the garage and here. When the snow comes off the garage, there's no snow guards on here, so I get a big pile of ice. <coughs> so I wanna have room enough to get through here and maybe I have to go to the compost over there behind you. And anyway, let me show you a cut and then I'll go on to other things. The Husqvarna had the Husqvarna had a 52 cc engine on it. And this is 15 amps, so I don't know how that converts exactly, but <coughs> it did a nice job do that. That's about what 10 or 11 inches there on that one. 
So for my purposes, for 79 bucks, I think this is going to work out well. There was a guy on on uh, Amazon who gave it one star, and he says it ran for 15 minutes, and then it quit. And I have a hunch. That's all it takes <clears throat> is to move the, the brake is that much. And I'm thinking maybe the guy was new, never used one before, and he hits this when he stopped the first time. And if this is, the brake is on, it will not start if the chain brake is on. So it's very possible he sent back a perfectly good saw. So that's why I always look for more than a handful of reviews on Amazon. Although I, I do pay attention to them. It runs rather cool too. Yesterday I did. I'll show you how many pieces I cut yesterday. I don't know how I forgot to bring the camera out. I guess there was a lot going on and I just didn't get around to it. Um, here's what I cut. Here's what I cut yesterday. Didn't take long at all. And it'll keep me busy splitting for a while. And once they're cut, at least they get a chance to start drying out. So, there's dogs barking at something or other. I don't know what. Sometimes they don't know what. It's also very windy, as you can see from the blowing leaves. But I do have the cotton ball <laughs> over the microphone, so hopefully that's keeping the wind noise down. So here's where I want to cut that part off up to where this log here that holds the end so I want to cut that stuff off right there so that I have a path there because when the snow comes off here it's going to come out you know quite a ways a couple of feet out so I'll still have a path to walk by so hopefully this saw is going to work out I mean right now I'm happy with it and contrary to some of the negative opinions on Amazon um, it keeps running and it's an Oregon chain, it's a standard chain, it's not any dinky little crap and um, I don't think I'll be able to use a Husqvarna chain on it because the bar is short and the sprocket I don't, I think the Husqvarna chain will be too big even though they're both for 18 inch bars there's not as much room between the sprocket and the chain as there was on the Husqvarna so anyway I'll always update or leave a comment in the messages if I have something else to add, hopefully the thing will be working until I get through most of this pile. And I don't know if you want a link. Maybe I'll put a link to it on Amazon. Otherwise, you can type this. The name is Sun Joe. There's a Snow Joe, and they make other kind of wood chippers and other stuff like that out of, you know, out of electric things. I don't know if they had an electric wood splitter. I was watching videos on that last night. The $300 wood splitter is five ton. And they were working good, and they were putting big pieces. Where is the big one? I have a big one here myself, like that one. That's more than 16 inches across. And they were putting in, take the end off, the same way I'm going to do with this one, with, with, with a, you know what. And you just don't put it, don't try to split it down the middle with a 5-ton splitter. You take the end off, and, and it works as good as... Um, it works as good as splitting it by hand. I mean, I might think about getting that for for 300 bucks, especially if they come out with a sale. So it's November 2nd. We had a little snow last night. Lake effect. I think I can find some remains, just so you don't have to take my word for it. Most of it's melting off anywhere the sun shines, and there it is. There's the remains of what's left right on those. So, a little bit out here in the field, too. So, first lake effect, November 2nd. That's really not too bad. We've had snow on the ground by Halloween already around here. So, so I'll have enough wood. I have to fill these pallets here for this winter. And then I'll have enough between out here and in the garage. And then I can start for next summer. So, another, what, five, five face cords i got to do. So, anyway, have a great weekend. Thanks for watching. Comments, questions, leave them below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I really, uh, I really appreciate some comments anyway, but as long as they're nice comments, not anything we be. Uh, unless you really insist. As long as it ain't disagreeable, any comment will do. Have a great day. Bye-bye.